Hello guys, so continue talking about Kibi types. I'm gonna leave the link on the playlist down below if you're new to this channel. Many women are confused about this or that small thing. However, I find so many great comments where women write me that they really found their type and when they got those recommendations on those directions on how to dress themselves better and stuff it works perfectly for them and they finally found their style once they found themselves within that style within the, within those lines now they can kind of break the rules and do something else but they already have that knowledge they have that base they got much more objective about themselves and i'm very happy that you guys are writing me those comments i'm very happy and bravo to mr kibe that he did create that book before Kibi that was actually McJimsey and uh, some other people who actually covered already that system about yin and yang in the bodies but I just think it's so interesting to look at that from that viewpoint and just to see how different we are and how unique each one of us is and we don't have to match that body trends that are actually very short in time so thank you once again for your nice comments today we're going to talk about vertical line and height again i know some weeks ago i made a video about height but at that video i mostly read the heights from the book and i made kind of like a chart myself i just played with it and i showed you that chart where i randomly picked the celebrities from kibi celebrities list and i just put them uh, into that kind of letter like height letter but of course it doesn't mean that you have to be that particular height it's just i played with it a little bit and i just put them like that and some of them you can even see like they're same height even though they have different proportions within one body so it's not that unbreakable rule it's just so you would see the difference you also can find this picture in my facebook fan group so i'm gonna leave the link down below so you can just check that uh, chart over there so we're gonna talk more about height and vertical line because i can see how people are slightly confused and uh, recently i've also been in many forums where people discuss uh, what kibi says now they discuss his quotes now what he says now about his system what he says now about the book about the celebrities about other people that he's typing what he's saying about their height here's the thing with the height if you're really tall let's say five eight and more more five ten five nine five eleven if you're really tall then your width can't balance that height that you already have to such a degree that you would look moderate in size if you're tracking what i'm saying because on this planet we yeah we have many different bodies however it's always a certain to a certain degree it's a certain range and above that range and below that range it's it's pretty rare some people get, can get wider some people can get super narrow some people are much taller some people are smaller but at the same time if you are very tall you have very long vertical line you can't just get that wide even you gain weight gain weight gain weight you can't gain weight to such a degree that it will balance the height so much so you stop looking high, uh, tall if that makes sense so long vertical line so if you are tall already like five eight 5'9", 5'10", 5'11". So you already can't look petite. So this is your, this is your very major young characteristic. Young, strong characteristic, dramatic characteristic. So this, the height, the vertical line itself, this is already a lot of drama in you. And this by itself is telling you that you are gonna pull off long vertical line in your outfits very well you won't look like it's dragging you down so you're closer to the floor that you are smaller that you look slightly strange you look awkward it's, it's just the rule when we talk about vertical line in the outfits we mean same color from the top to the bottom if you're wearing black top and black pants long pants that is your vertical line if you're wearing blue top and same color blue pants then it's going to be long vertical line if you're wearing long dress hat to toe if you're wearing huge coat hat to toe then it gives you that long vertical line or you're wearing let's say camel color coat which is again very long from your neck to your almost to your heels then you're wearing black dress underneath it and you have this long vertical line of your black dress then you have that long vertical line of that very long camel coat 
You see what I mean? So this is that vertical line that you're using in your outfits. If you are already tall, you can easily pull that off. You will look amazing in that vertical line. When I say you can pull that off, that just means that you will look very harmonized and balanced in that. Nothing will look strange or awkward. You won't look like something is dragging you down. I'm not saying that a shorter girl, shorter woman can't pull that vertical line. We're going to talk about this a little bit later now. So the tallest types are flamboyant natural, dramatic, and soft dramatic. So those are the tallest, those three are the tallest types. You can't be tall theatrical romantic. You can't be tall gamin because gamin consists of yin and yang, but its yin part is in height, is in size. Gamins look small. You can't look small if you're five eight. Your width is just can't balance it. It won't be balanced. It doesn't matter how much you eat. It won't just balance your height your vertical line. And gamines, yeah, they can look, some gamines can be very petite. Some gamines can be slightly higher. Some gamines can can look slightly taller than other gamines, but it doesn't matter. Normally they can't pull off that long vertical line as good as those taller women, you see, as those taller types. And this is why we call it gamine, because gamines yin part is in height. Yeah, the rest can be pretty dramatic. They can be pretty straight, they can be pretty narrow, they can be pretty sharp bones, sharp facial features sometimes. They can have it. They can have sharp chin or taut cheekbones. They can be pretty narrow. So this is their drama, of course. But if this girl is 5'8", she can't be gamin. Just by this simple rule. And this is why we have dramatic flamboyant natural and soft dramatic. And this is why we have those smaller types, they just call differently. That's why we call them differently, just because the height matters. So yeah, if you're very tall, then you just can't be one of those smaller times. You can also check this video where I talk about how Kibi just got some celebrities and he reassigned them to like from that category to that category, maybe as I guess. They, he, he whether saw them in front of him, so he realized that she is not as tall or as small as he thought she was when he was typing her before, or he just checked more of her pictures on the internet, which also happens. Checked more of her bikini pictures, for example, he could really had a chance to see her more, to observe her more, to get more information about her from the internet. However, he tells not to rely on height in, in Google, because he says many stars are lying about their height and many of them he had a chance to observe in front of him because he lives in New York, he's visiting all those parties, especially fashion shows. So this is why he can really observe their real height, how they look in real life. He can stand close to them, looking at those high heels and approximately seeing what height they are. And then he can see in Google that their height is much higher than they are. But it's, it's just a parlor game, as he say, like type in celebrities, because unless you see a person in front of you, it's pretty hard to say. On the pictures, people look so different. Same person can look more as a dramatic. Same person can look more as a romantic. It's just a lot of a lot of things just depend on the makeup, the clothes and the lighting and how it's shot, even the colors of the picture, everything matters. So going back to heights, now if you have smaller women, smaller than five, nine, for example, right? So we go down to a range of moderate height of people. Moderate height of people is pretty big. For Kibi in his book, when he wrote about classic, for example, he said that classic is between 5'5 five, five and 5'7 five, normally. Usually they are within that height range, which is not very big, right? So I think this is what is considered to be pretty average height of a person. Everything that is below that, it already can start being small looking or petite more petite. And then everybody who is higher than that, probably they already start looking stronger and just higher. If we go to that moderate range of heights, this is where we can find probably almost all of them, if not all of those types. This is where it sometimes gets tricky and confusing. So if you are above that, you can be basically just one of three, flamboyant natural, dramatic, or soft dramatic. If we go slightly below that, we can find pretty much, pretty much anyone in there. 
And it's interesting because that's what I read in in several forums now, what Kibi says about heights and stuff. So, uh, and I found it very interesting and it actually makes sense to me that higher types, you can't be as wide to balance the height so that height is already a lot of young. So you can be one of those three types. If we go lower, then we have more options because smaller women, their narrowness sometimes can disbalance their height to such a degree that they will look taller. You see how it works? So yeah, maybe you're not, you're small, but if you're like slightly narrower within this one body and you have a certain proportion of your legs to your torso, you have a certain proportion of your head to your shoulders, you probably know who I'm talking about, right? It's um, Sarah Jessica Parker, who is flamboyant natural in Kibi's list, and she's 5'3", I'd say, I think. But within her one body, she looks very much flamboyant natural. She's one of the smallest flamboyant naturals out there, of course, but within her one body, she can pull off that vertical line, which is interesting. She can pull off those long, uh, long outfits, long same color outfits from her neck to her toes. She can pull off longer stuff. So she looks like she has that longer vertical line and she does look those blunt bones and she's not symmetrical. So we can say that she is closest to flamboyant natural rather than some other types. He says romantic and theatrical romantics and gamines, especially soft gamines, they, they are the most petite women normally, so they can be very tiny. Flamboyant gamines also can be tiny. They can be pretty tiny. However, we look at the overall body, at the overall shape and on balance of yin and yang inside of their body. Now, we can't say that somebody is flamboyant gamine if she's 5'8". And I've seen uh, women who, who are very tall, like one girl was 5'11 or something, and she said that she's a flamboyant gamine. And I could see that she just loves that style of loads of colors and slightly childish, and it really looks pretty cute on her. But she thinks that those types, kibi types, is a style. It's a style. Not quite so. I understand why people sometimes think so, because I also, as soon as I started reading the book, I also thought that it was it was styles. But it's not the styles. It's just when we talk about the styles of clothes, classic style, romantic style, let's not connect it now to the kibi types. Just forget about kibi types for a second. We talk about romantic style, remember? All those uh, soft, pastel colors, rounded, like we think about probably new look of the 50s right and then when we talk about classic style yeah everything is modest shapes pretty feminine but at the same time not too much going on right of course we do have those stereotypes and uh, about the styles itself so sometimes that mixes it in our head but i'm going to talk about this as one of, in one of my next videos so stay tuned for that you know so in this case people get confused so when they really found their style in clothes, they start thinking that they are this type, which in their head connected like association with, with, that, with that style of clothes, which is not the case. Any Kibi type can wear whatever style they want. If you want Gothic style, if you're like a rocker, if you can wear rockers stuff. It's just more about the lines, fabrics, and how you just build this outfit overall, you know? And actually the variety of stuff that you can wear and, 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 and play with it is actually super huge. It's just sometimes some things, if you, especially if you combine them together, they can look slightly weird on you, but again, that's your choice. You can just choose that weird look on yourself and it will look stunning but it will look like it was done on purpose. And that's the biggest difference. And this is why we're talking about all these things on my channel. I don't know if you agree with me or not, but women who don't know the rules and they are breaking it, they look different than women who know the rules and they are breaking it. I think that's a pretty big difference, even though they can wear pretty much same clothes and they can play with clothes and with colors pretty much in the same manner. But one looks like as if she just doesn't know and another one looks perfect in that. And it, she looks extremely 
irregular. She looks extremely, even sometimes inappropriate, but it's in a very tasty way. Again, we're gonna talk about this in one of my next videos. So what I'm trying to say here, the name of your type is not your style. And it doesn't matter how we even name your type, whether it's gonna be Kibi or McJamesy or somebody else, or we don't name you at all. We just have the facts. The facts about the structure that you have and uh, we somehow can put some outfits on you so they would look beautiful and you would look ama you would feel amazing so this lady I, I didn't see her i didn't see this girl so if she says she's 510 or 511 or 59 she's probably flamboyant natural or dramatic if she was confusing herself with flamboyant gamin flamboyant gamins are normally maybe slightly straighter they didn't look they don't look curvy and lush they normally look drier and slightly more on a square side, slightly angular. So I'm thinking about, I'm not thinking about soft dramatic for her, but probably dramatic if the bones are thin. And flamboyant naturals if she has probably slightly broader that part and her bones are more on a blunt side, slightly on a wider side. We don't know, but she loves that style. So probably she's just doing something right she can play with colors maybe she has very bright coloration so she feels the dull colors just don't work on her so she doesn't want to get that vertical line so she loves those color blocks there's always a degree when those color blocks can look slightly inappropriate and funny on some bodies it just depends uh, also on her personal features it's not just the categories it's also her, your personal features so those recommendations just a direction that leads to you but there are loads of dramatics out there that look super different and like one thing works for you another thing works for that person this is why i myself when i look at the person and give her advices i normally i consider kiba in my head of course i love those types but i always base my recommendations only on her because I can see immediately what exactly she has that is different like let's say she's dramatic what exactly she has that is different from those other dramatics out there and why that looks so cool on her and that would not look as good on other dramatics for some reason but because they have just a different vibe overall but those directions those recommendations still work pretty perfectly they give us the base they give us something that we can rely on if we are slightly confused like we can rely on that and just choose that path and just walk on it and just see how it goes see how it goes and then build 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 on top build on top because we have so many elements in our look haircut hair color makeup and then clothes shapes and stuff like that so all that influences on our look so some details just might be out and so it doesn't look all together you see so you can't be flamboyant gamin if you are extremely tall so smaller types so one of petite types is gamin flamboyant gamin soft gamin romantic theatrical romantics those five can be very petite so if you are, if you are really petite then you can look on those directions because normally gamins are narrow have narrow bones they are more straight looking they can have long arms for example longer legs but they are still slightly smallish gamins and they're not lush if you are petite but you are rounded you have some softness you have some figure you are curve dominant so we see your curves we see some softness on your arms let's say here your arms are pretty shortish and your face looks rounded uh, you have slightly wider bones but they are still pretty delicate and short as you're probably romantic if you are also small you have you have some curves you have some flesh but you have some sharper bones, you're probably theatrical romantic, you see? So that is a good thing that to look at. If we talk about moderate, of course, we have pretty big amount of people who can be in that height range. Dramatics can be there too. Flamboyant naturals can be there too. Soft dramatics can be there too. They just have a certain look, you know? They just have a certain proportions. Um, classics are normally very symmetrical. They can also be in that moderate, division but they just look more symmetrical and they have certain characteristics about them um, naturals are, normally have more defined musculature wider chest area wider wider here the shoulders and stuff and they can have more blunt bone structure in their face uh, on their shoulders and stuff but they also can be in that same moderate height range 
you see? Smaller women have slightly more possibilities in this case, that's right. But at least we now narrowed it down slightly, so maybe some confusion will go away after that video. Thank you so much, guys, for watching, and I will see you very soon. Bye-bye. Subscribe on my Pinterest for 13 boards as an inspiration for the body types. Also, you can subscribe on my Instagram. All the links I'm gonna leave down below. Also, you can become my sponsor or subscribe on my Patreon for some exclusive videos, some early access to these videos, and um, just if you want to support me and my channel. Thank you so much, guys, and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.